Okay, today we're going to talk about how to build a uh, hyperlink using a hyperlink function um, on a drop down menu, also called a data validation list. And this is uh, very simple to use and very useful. Once you understand how the formula works, um, you'd be surprised how easy this is and how nice this is to, to have. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to build a list. And this list is going to need a name. So right now I'm using buildings one through six, and the name of it is building master list. So I've already named this list. Uh, if you highlight all of it, it says building master list. And that is the name of the list in the name box. And you'll notice there's underscores between the, the uh, words. And you can't have any spaces in this box. So I'll show you how I named it. For, and there's also a blank in here, and I'll explain that why I put that in later. But uh, it's very simple to name up uh, a list. We'll just uh, we'll do uh, we'll just name the list A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, and we'll just call this uh, A B C list. All right. So we're just making a list, and that's the list name. So we're going to highlight all of it, and right here in the directions it says Control Shift F3 to name your list. So Control Shift F3. And also it says also the top row, so click OK, and you just named a list. So if you highlight everything under the name, it'll show up ABC list. So you've just named your list. That's step one um, to doing this hyperlink function, but you need that list anyways, everything that we're doing so far. So the next part is you need to do your data validation. That's where your drop down is going to be. So we're going to click. Uh, first of all, if you notice here on this list that contains our list, our mass, building master list, the page is called drop down info. I used an underscore here, drop down underscore info. That's where our list is being contained. Okay? So, and we'll refer back to that later as well. On the formula tab, this is where the magic happens. This is where our data validation is which is going to refer back to that uh, drop-down info page, which are where our list is at. And this is also where our formula is. And again, here in yellow is a bunch of information to refer back to. Um, I've also added some notes in the uh, cells here. So this is where your data validation drop-down list is going to be. And this is where your formula is going to be. So we'll start off with the data validation. Now. I've already put one in this. If you left click in there, click the arrow, these are the buildings I entered, and this is the blank space that we talked about. So, I'm going to show you how I did that, how to do a data validation, and we'll refer back to this little ABC list here that I have. So all you have to do is click in the cell, go to data, data validation, and you want to go to list. The source, this is where you need to enter in where the list name is. The other one that I already have for buildings one through six, it's called the building master list. This one is called ABC list. Enter. That's all you got to do. Put the name in. It has to be exactly how it is, with no spaces. And there's your, there's your list. Okay. So that's how I form this list. And I just I just color coded this the cell, and we should probably put a little block around that so we know a border so we know where it's at. Okay. The next step is the interesting part where the formula goes for the hyperlink function. And if you notice here, I've got pages for buildings one, two, three, four, and five. And here's and I I put a six building in here, and I'll I'll add a page in here and show you how I did that. So, in the formula, we'll go to the formula and look at it here, and it's exactly what's in the yellow, where it says hyperlink help. That is the name of my workbook. At the very top of the page, you can see where it says hyperlink help. All right. Also, it says drop down underscore info. That's the name of the page that contains the list. 
it also says B9. That B9 is right here. That is where the data validation list is. Go, that could be anything you want. It could be the name of a cell. You could just put, uh, you could even just put B9 in there as, again and it would show up whatever building you selected. But I just chose Go just because it looks a little cleaner and easier to use. So let's show you how it works. I'm going to click in here, I'm going to choose building 1, and I'm going to click go. And it took me right to building 1 page, and there it is. So you just hyperlinked from a drop down list. I also put some more notes in here as well. Now, the reason why it hyperlinked was because I named A1 cell building 1, just, just like it looks in the drop down list, building 1 just like it looks in the drop-down list, building one, okay? So, it's very important that it looks exactly the same. There can't be any spaces in here. That's why all my other lists contain no spaces, or it wouldn't work. I've added a little main menu uh, button here. It'll just take you back to this list. It's pretty simple to use. Um, you can just copy and paste those and just, uh, you know, right-click, hyperlink, you want to place it in this document, and I want to put it on my formula tab. Okay, and there, it'll take me there. So you can rename it whatever you want. Anyways, I don't really need that. Wanted to show you how I did that, but um, that's kind of kind of simple to use. Anyways, so you have to name each area you want that to hyperlink to. So that's where I hyperlinked it to. Uh, we'll go back to the formula tab and we'll do building 2. Click the check, building 2, go. There it is, building 2 tab, right to it. So you can add as many as you want in here. And as far as A, B, C, D, E, F, you saw how I added that. You can see how I can hyperlink it. Um, let's see here. If I want to, I've got building 6, so let's just, let's add a sheet. We're going to rename this Building 6. And you can space this. It doesn't matter how that looks. It's just the name of a page. And we're going to call this Building 6 Info Sheet. Okay. And all you have to do is click in the box, A1 or anywhere on here, any cell, and name it Building 6, just like it looks. Enter. Make sure you hit enter and make sure it shows up in the name box. If it doesn't show up, it didn't work. There it is, building six. So now if you go back to the formula and you go to building six, click go, it takes you right there. So you can add as many as you want. You can even go back and say, okay, um, and make sure when you're in this, this is what it's naming in this cell, A through 14. Stay inside those. Let's, uh, and if you want to add more, it's very simple. Just right click in, uh, right here. Insert. Say you want to do building um, two. Well, let's just say building three, um, and then make sure you put an underscore if you want to space electrical. Just just say you want to do the electrical portion of building three. Make your own other tab. So in building three, you'll have multiple sections to go to. So if you notice in building three, I'm going to go down here. I'm rolling down to like, I don't know, 50. We're going to call this the electrical section. Okay? Let's just try to get to that. So if we go back to formula, see where it's at here, building through electrical, formula, now it should show up in the list. There it is, but it's not in order. I'd like this to, I'd like this to go underneath building three. That's very simple. Highlight what you want to work with, and all you have to do is or sort it. Boom, there it goes, went down, go to formula, and it'll show up just like you had it, okay? So that's what we want to name that cell to hyperlink to, building three underscore electrical. So we're going to go to building three, we're going to go down, whoops, building three, we're going to go down, here it is. So I'm going to go back up, go back down, electrical section. So I'm going to name this cell, okay? Building three underscore Electrical. Okay, enter.
my formula, and I'm going to go to electrical. Go. And there it is. So everything works perfect, and we're all set with this. So if you have any questions, refer back to this the sheet, go back over it again, and you can uh, figure it all out. Hope this helps.